Smith and MacArthur need some time for Cowboy Boys. Light on or light off? I like it on. You like it on? I do. Well, now I have to recolor grade the whole episode. Damn. Welcome. And you will, though, because you're so professional. I won't. Welcome to uh, Cowboy Boys Podcast. Episode one, two, two, sixteen, something. Return of Shane. Yeah, I'm back physically here, in, but not mentally here in the A Little Time Studios. Oh yeah, that what? makes sense. I thought you were going to say a second thing after the first thing. I was like, all right, here we go, but you didn't. So no, that was a period. Yeah, I now I know that. I think you are. You've been my friend the longest, and have taken the also the longest to. No, I've actually I have some friends who've been friends with since junior high school, but they they. You've been my longest friend who's taken the most time to understand who I am. And I still don't think you do. <laughs> yeah, it's I don't, hard. I think uh, our two other roommates, Mike and Diego, Diego got a instant. He like, oh, I get it. But he also, we have the, our, our, we're, we're intrinsically Latino and in, like entwined. I don't think Diego gets it. I think Diego doesn't no, he care. It. He gets it. He, well, he doesn't care, which is why he gets it. <laughs> okay, yeah, you, that's fair. You care, <laughs> and so you're like trying to you're trying to puzzle, like what the what is going on? Here's the thing: you say this, but you don't realize that eventually you're going to be married, and I'm going to be your <laughs> no, wife's most invaluable res- resource. No, you won't. There's. I'm going to be the closest person to her in her life because when she has issues with you, I'm going to be the only person who has ever put in the time and dealt with it as a person who cares about you the way she does. Because Diego doesn't care if you live or die. That's why he understands you. Dude, I don't care if I live or die. I know. (laughs) (laughs) So I'm going to be an invaluable resource, dude. No, you 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 don't get it. And also, I'm not. I getting, don't get it, but that's how we'll commis- me, Her and I will commiserate together. I'm not getting married as much as I want to, as much as I would love to get married. Why aren't you getting married? When we can't handle me, I'm too. Did you? What did you have a recent? Did is it? Did a negative thing happen recently? No. With a woman? Not a negative thing. Oh, a positive thing. Sure. And d- d- through that, do you think she handled it? Can she not handle you? I can't handle them. <laughs> oh, no. Did you get the ick? I didn't get the ick. Okay. I'm not talking about anything. Nothing happened. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> why are you Why are you already getting into this? I'm not getting... I, what do you mean? I'm Restart talking, the podcast. Welcome to Cowboy no. Boys. <laughs> no. Listen. We don't have to talk about anything. Dude, Diego's room is fucking hot. Yeah. What do you mean? Just sweat. Did here let's let's complain about our roommates in his room. Okay, yeah. I am just sweating. I'm sweating like a pig yeah, in my white t shirt. You're gonna see my nipples. You wanna trade t shirts? No, not right now. Okay. Dude, our our roommates love it's the tail end of the summer and they love turning off the AC and opening a window for some fresh air. <laughs> and I'm just like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Outside it's humid, it's hot. Do you know what the problem is? What's up? We grew up in a place where the outdoors kills you. So when you someone opens a window, we're like, what are you doing? Scorpions and camel uh, spiders yeah, yeah. and fucking snakes and eagles. And the heat that will kill you and the cold that will kill you is coming into the home. When they open a window, they're like, and the worst thing that can happen is a pigeon looks. Never like there's looks. no negative consequences. Uh, on the East Coast, I guess in Florida, maybe. There's nothing deadly in Florida Not except really. for man. Yeah, it's all weird in Florida, but I don't think there's that many deadly things. You'd have to be pretty stupid to get eaten by an alligator. A bear will get you. Are there bears in Florida? Yeah, there are swamp bears. That sounds like <laughs> that's, that's not real. <laughs> or so I've been told. Have you? I have been told there's swamp bears. That's not real. <laughs> Maybe it is. Here's the thing: both of us are unsure. <laughs> we- I'm not. A, I'm not sure. That could be. I've never seen a bear uh, fight an alligator, though. So that's why I don't think bears occupy the same area. Bear is the 
Oh, we already talked about this. Uh, the Alaskan Animal Fighting Championships. Yeah. They're... The bear was number two, though. So I think he would beat an alligator. Yeah. Alligators get got by jaguars all the time. Oh, you're right. They get got by cats. <laughs> it's just a, <laughs> That's a, so metal. A, a, a jaguar half the size of an alligator will just chomp on the back of their neck and the alligator's like oh no i can't move <laughs> oh fuck i'm a lizard <laughs> i got catted yeah i love those videos where a hunter's like walking and he like shines a light and there's just a fucking cat with a big ass alligator in its mouth in a tree you're like whoa nature fucking rocks nature does rock yeah and i'm glad i'm glad uh climate is changing faster and faster i think it's cool because it'll kill us and Maybe, nature will get probably. to do other stuff yeah yeah burning man is uh flooding right now that rocks did you hear about how this? did that guy die what guy some guy died because of the flooding i don't know dude i saw an article where they're like joe biden has been briefed on burning i want to be like hey no one helped them they're doing their own thing they've got their moneyless anarchy uh, anarchist society i think we should let them figure it out i'm gonna go out on a limb and say it would be pretty funny to nuke Burning Man. <laughs> <laughs> Just kill. So do you think it would be a net positive or net? I'm I'm one hundred percent a net positive because yeah. I think like some crazy amount of of people who are like in the one percent go to Burning Man. Well, the, the the guy everyone's making fun of on Twitter right now is like uh, the lawyer who defended Nestle for like stealing enslaving water enslaving children yeah yeah it was at the burning man he's like oh i'm so spiritual which is why i hate like when people do drugs and like oh wow i get it. i'm like no you don't yeah no you're, you don't drugs just... don't make you spiritual or profound they make you feel spiritual yes. or profound <laughs> those Preach. are Preach, two sister. different things those are two very different things yeah i thought it would be so funny to sneak a nuke which would be hard but then like if I'm if I let's hypothetically I'm terminal with something okay, and I just do a uh um an earth ooting <laughs> yeah at Burning Man yeah a lot of people would be bummed but I think it, a lot of people would be like man that was funny <laughs> that, that was those people how many how many security details do you think millionaires they have to have they do they have secret security i've i there was i remember seeing some weird post about it where some guys like look at these feds and it was like just special forces dudes clearly with guns on them like they they're armed people at burning man but the majority of them aren't and even if you went there to do north hollywood play a video Nor game yeah north yeah Hollywood bank heist to play a to play uh, the call of duty modern warfare two level no russian because here's here's the two types of people at Burning Man. It's evil tech bros trying to repent through drugs, which is wrong. Yeah. And the women who fuck them. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's all and like people are like, but what about women? They're not and you know what? Women are not bad, but when you fly to Dubai to fuck an evil oil baron prince, you're guilty by association. It's true. That's why I don't listen to Beyonce anymore. That's why the French <laughs> resistance, they killed all the women who married the Nazis. Yeah, it's like, hey, I know you're not a bad person, but, but you could have fucked a cool homeless guy. It's true. And, but I guess they need money, too. But you don't need that much money. I'll give you $100 to fuck me, and I'm a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, buy you, I'll buy you dinner. I'll let you sleep in my bed. Whoa, and he has a full size. No, I have a twin right now. <laughs> oh, no. When did you go back down a twin? When we moved in. My room's tiny. No, you had a full. I never had a full. Oh, had a, so you had a twin mattress on a full frame. That's what happened. Yeah, yeah. And I had a queen. My before. bad. Everybody. I had a queen on a full frame. My bad, everybody. Max frame was the wrong size for his bed, and I got confused. Yeah, how would you do it? What would be? What would you be your... Your Burning Man mass shooting. <laughs> <laughs> how would I do it? I like how do, do you think people I, would really be stuck? I think it would really divide the nation. Oh yeah, there would be a lot of people making jokes and a lot of people who are like, "This is not funny." This is what if I got because I made fun of some that one guy did die and I I put I, there was an AP news article and I just put LOL <laughs> and <laughs> and some guy was like. Do you think it's funny that a human being died? And I was like, literally, yes. <laughs> I don't care. I'm not going through the Ocean Gate thing again. 
oh no it i and it's not that it's not i'm not even like a weird leftist about it where i was like yeah billionaires die i'm like no sometimes it's funny when people die it is wait isn't that a george carlin that's a george carlin sometimes when a lot of people die it's kind of funny yeah <laughs> that was the name of an album he had to change it because of 9 11 oh yeah it came out on 9 11 yeah yeah he had an, a special come out like the day before 9 11 it was called it's kind of funny when a lot of people die <laughs> he's, a, he's a coward i wouldn't have changed it yeah you don't change it you just say fuck it i was oops. like oops it already printed i already printed all the copies <laughs> hey guys promise it's gonna be funny later um or you know what i would do really in real real this is not minecraft this is real life uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to Burning Man and I'm gonna have a I'm gonna bring a bunch of beehives, and I'm gonna be advertising my holistic natural psychedelic honey, and then I'm just gonna release all the bees. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start stinging everyone. <laughs> just sting. I'll be like a I don't know, be like a super villain. That would be cool. Like the Bee Man in Metal Gear Solid Two. Yeah, that's my favorite boss. Is it? He sucks in the game, but I like that. He's just a crazy guy who controls bees. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of sick. It's pretty fun, dude. It's not a fun boss battle. It's really easy. Um, Yeah, the whole Burning Man thing is crazy. And they like camp out on like a dust playa or whatever. They call it a playa. I don't know, but you, the fucking dust thing. And it turns into a mire when it rains. So a lot of people like can't really get around. And so they just have to shit outside their tent and live in the mud for like three days. Very funny. Yeah. I think it, here's my thing. I for, for those of you watching, I have a a couple close friends who I grew up with that then became burners. Are, not burners. What oh. are we? But what are the people who go wooks? Wooks. Yeah. Yeah. Weird crystal psychedelic drugs. Which vaccines is, are bad. That but is a I slur. Go to, what? It is a slur. Wook. Wook. Yeah. It's short for wookie, which is like uh, you have. It's, I guess it's like. Oh, uh, just dreadlock people, yeah, white yeah. white dreadlock hippies, filthy fucking idiots. Hmm. The dreadlocks don't don't necessarily have to be filthy. Yeah, true. They're a lot. Actually, these days they're all clean. Hmm. So it's just weird. Anyway, I have a friend who does all that stuff. He, well, I, but I was thinking, Wooks normally. I've never seen a I've never seen a black person be called Wooks, and they're traditionally the people who have uh, dreadlocks, but are. Or is Chewbacca and like real Wookiees from Star Wars? What does their skin look like? I don't know. Are they? Do you think they're? Do you think they're white? They're black? They're In the Latino? Porn parody, Wook, oh. uh, Chewbacca has a regular white penis. Whoa! So see, Chewbacca's see, a the, white guy. This is why I ask you. You're the nerd guy. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'd be knowing Chewbacca. So that's why. That's so it's where a Wooks. white man under there. If you shave <laughs> Chewbacca, it's just a white guy. Yeah, I guess. Uh, what's his name? Peter North. Or no, 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 not oh, the porn oh, star. Never mind, sorry. Who's the sorry. guy who plays Chewbacca? The, <laughs> oh, I don't the, know. like six foot know. seven tall guy. <laughs> who's like he kind of he's like so tall that he starts leaning over and he's like kind of fucked up. Yeah, he can't stand. Anyways, anyway, my my Wook friends they even don't. They're like, no, Burning Man is bad. Burning Peter Man Mayhew. is for, Burning Man is for normies and rich people. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And they're like, do you want to come to this other festival where we get so high that we all just shake on the ground? And I was like, I'm actually good. Thank you. you mean Love you. Wim Hof? Just going to Wim Hof's cabin and breathing? Hyperventilating? <laughs> yeah, that's like really what they're doing. He's like, he'll always invite me. He'll be like, hey, just so you know, me and my polycule are having an orgy and we've all co-signed that you're allowed to come. I'm like, I'm really good, though. Thank you for inviting me to the orgy, but I can't get hard in front of nine other guys. Mm. Mm, that's fair yeah maybe if there was less than nine uh like eight <laughs> i don't like the orgy because let's say i do get into it there's a lot of people all around we're all having sex and i go oh me and you and me and some girl we start one-on-oning i can't be doing stuff with her and then have some other guy be like and also me right now mm -hmm. the, the hope is that as a as like a guy who grew up you know, in the early 2000s, you're like, if another girl starts kissing the girl I'm having sex with, that would be the best thing that could happen. No, because then she's not kissing me. 
Uh, well, me and you have the same opinion on that. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm not one of those weird straight guys who's like, actually, if my girlfriend, you're one of those. I know, but yeah, but like, not me, dude. If <laughs> if I'm with a girl and she hooks up with another girl, that's actually worse. Ah, uh, because I'm like, hey, I can't give you that. So if you want it, I'm screwed. I see. Whereas if a girl wants another guy, I'm like, well, I could do better than him. But also, I would still just leave. In any case. I can't I, I can't do the polycule orgy. I can't do the ground shaking drugs. I definitely can't do the music. Dude, it would be cool to uh, make a bunch of bad acid and release it into Burning Man. I feel like and I then can, I release the bees. I feel like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, yes. All right. That's so, pretty good. So there's a little bit of laced acid. Dude, it's know, some bitter acid. And you know, you think your trip is bad now. The bees, <laughs> you know, would be really fun is to harass people at Burning Man with a drone. It would be fun. Yeah, I know. It's, I just think of how funny it would be to like fly around. He's like, Dude. get away from me. <laughs> like they would get so mad, but it's so like stupid. It's such a stupid problem. Like you're just zzz, and no one has anything like they throw stuff at it. But what am I too fast? One of my favorite TikTok accounts that gets deleted every time i find it <laughs> and uh, instagram accounts is this guy who has a drone who flies it who finds homeless people and he flies the drone and hovers over homeless people and just films them and they all have like sometimes they have like crackhead reactions or like ah, blah, blah, like tasmanian devil talking to them yeah yeah some of them are just like hey what's up i'm too down on the night. and some of them really freak out it is always a bummer but like i said I'll laugh at billionaires dying. I don't care. I don't. I don't care. Yeah, you laugh I, at everybody. So you're a, you're a uh, an equal opportunist human misery enjoyer. Um, it's not. I don't enjoy human misery. Okay, well, <laughs> it seems that's a that different. Way. That's a different thing. That I also I do enjoy it, but okay, it's not. It's okay. not attached to oh, humor. You're right. That's I fair. Like, I can laugh at any situation. Evil Mac does enjoy seeing bad things happen uh -huh. but that's not that's not tied to humor and i was talking to someone about this because i was making fun of it and they're like i just feel like i'm in a bad space and but i have to laugh at this and i it made me like real like i put it into words let me let me uh i just sent it today you put it into wait wait i put this in my exact feelings into text when i texted my buddy this is incredible and i said uh you shouldn't tie your sense of humor to your moral compass. Oh, that's true. You should allow joy to come to you wherever you find well, it. Well, because then this is the problem with like comedy clubs and stuff. Everyone likes to laugh until it's their thing. Oh, yeah. Until if you're uh, if you're an LGBT person, I was having fun with at the comedy show until they made fun of a trans person. Even though that trans person was is a evil trans person yeah, yeah, yeah. i was ha or like i was having fun until they made fun of guns and now i was a conservative guy i'm like no -uh, guns because i i i've been like triggered i felt myself be like no that's not how that works yeah but yeah. i'm not going to be such an asshole where i'm like eh, boo my thing got made fun of yeah yeah so it that's that's my word you shouldn't tie your sense of humor to your moral compass because whatever you believe more morally Mm -hmm. is what you believe but you should be separate and laugh at if bad stuff is happening at burning man you should laugh at it if bad if people if millionaires are getting imploded on submarines you should laugh at it you should if a homeless guy falls down in the street and his pants fall down that's pretty good it's funny that's it's great his situation overall maybe you won't feel maybe you even want to give him more money because he gave you a little <laughs> bit of joy <laughs> his pants blew off his body Looney Tunes but style. I, I hate when it's like when when people are just like, oh, that little kid, the little kid with cancer slipped on a banana peel. But I'm like, he did slip on a banana peel yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. It was funny the way he fell. <laughs> <laughs> That's not his his overall life situation is not important. It can be sometimes. Here, here's, it, sometimes here's what I it should. If it makes the joke funnier for you. Then you get to sprinkle a little extra seasoning yeah, on the you joke for throw you. Some sauce on it. But you shouldn't. If there is extra seasoning on it and you're like, I don't like that, you're like, hey, See, just, that's why just pick the pepperonis off of the joke that you don't like. Here's the thing. That's why me as a white person, I enjoy regular fails like my, you know, my favorite thing of all time is a rope swing fail. Yeah. No seasoning needed. 
Just eat it raw, dude. That's my shit. But you, no, you do have a you have a special flavor of a rope swing fails. Oh, okay, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I think I could I could I think I could laser it down too. I think your favorite your favorite joke food your favorite junk food joke food is rope swing fails. I love a I, rope swing. If I too. if I see someone on a rope swing and it's a new video that just hits the internet fresh. Yeah, dude. I'm like, oh, I can send this to Shane. <laughs> I love them so But if it's a girl, if it's a lady on a rope swing, it's really good. And this, if it's a fat lady on a rope swing, it doesn't get any better than that. That's your gold standard. <laughs> <laughs> dude. Wait. Uh, I just imagined a few of them. How how uh, stoked are you going to be for AI when AI <laughs> when AI you just typing in oh, generate fat lady on rope swing <laughs> fails oh, oh, no. ten hour compilation <laughs> oh. is that going to be your matrix moment where your the, cipher yeah just dude. plug me back in all I see is woman on rope swing yeah, yeah. man on rope swing no you're going to be cipher you're going to be like I pledge allegiance to the machines oh yeah dude because they'll give me anything I want. But do you think you'll be able to tell? Will it be as funny if there's no real human pain behind it? I don't know. I don't know. Or do you even think that deep? <laughs> I don't think that deep. I just enjoy just it. I just think it's I just think the rope swing is so insane because it's like you the idea that you could get up there, hold on with your hand, like I know that everyone convinced you to do it. It's so funny. And then the, you have no idea how strong you are. Like you're finding out for you're finding out in the worst way of a really important fact about yourself, and that's that you have not enough upper body strength to hold you, and to discover it in that way is so fucking funny to me, dude. You know what I think? What your second favorite thing is just someone falling over. Yes. When I've fallen over in front of you, you've laughed for years. One of the hardest times I've ever laughed in my life is watching you fall across the street by Wise Guys. In front of the comedy club. Uh, another time. Wait, wait, I, but wait. Oh, I mean. Oh, another hardest time I laughed was when my ex-wife fell down. And she it, it was the only real argument we've ever had. She was mad at me for like a month. That's how hard I laughed. I wasn't mad at you for laughing at me. You were was, was I think you were worried for me at first. Yeah. I was laughing so hard. You were like, wait, are you okay? I think... Because when someone falls over, yeah, that's them failing to do the most human thing. Yes, to walk. Yeah, I think when someone fails on a rope swing, they're fail. That goes even deeper into your in into your body. My body's your like, monkey brain. Monkey fail. <laughs> your monkey. Your monkey brain is like, who can't fall? Who falls off of a vine? And yeah, dude. Come on, grab it with your fucking paws, you <laughs> maniacs. Dude, yeah, dude, I love that shit. You know, you got to go deeper. You got to figure out what the lizard fail is. <gasps> And then I got to find out what the fucking the water amoeba fail is. Not being able to further. split. A cell Not even. Be, <laughs> yeah, dude. Not being able to live next to a six thousand degree vent. Mm. Yeah, dude. My uh, my ex found out that I liked watching rope swing fails and that the girls made me laugh the hardest. And she got mad at me. And then Why? I discovered. Why would you be mad at someone for when they find their pure joy? I exactly. Well, she thought I was sexist, and then I found out. Hey. <clears throat> well, who yeah. cares yeah, what if that's what i'm saying this is, this is what i keep bringing up like when it comes to jokes yes maybe i am and that makes me laugh more is that a bad <laughs> thing yeah i don't give a fuck is it is it a bad thing that makes me when that specific thing makes me laugh exactly and so anyway but i found out that she obsessively watches every thrasher hall of meat like that's her favorite shit. It's just guys but getting super hurt skateboarding. In a laughing way or in a yes. sick. Like in a laugh like in a like she just enjoys it overall. And I was yeah, like funny. Yeah, but I was like, you can't judge me. Look at the fucking thing you're doing. We're both doing a weird thing. Why are you being rude? Sure her humor thing her humor's tied to her moral compass and exactly. you, gotta, you gotta detach it. Yeah. You'll enjoy so many more There's things. not one person's moral compass that's like, it's not okay when men get hurt. We all know we deserve it. I didn't, I'm not even saying deserve it. It's just funny. It's See, just funny. You keep falling. It's such an easy trap to fall into. You're so right. Where people are like, men deserve it. So it's funny. And no. How about it's funny? It's just funny. All the kids making fun of 9-11... That's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. That is funny. It's I love just, a kid who didn't even know where he was on 9-11 making fun of 9-11 cracks me up. It's funny. It's 
that is what it is. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to shoot up Burning Man one day. <laughs> <laughs> that's, my, that's my Mac guarantee. <laughs> Oh fuck! <laughs> if dude. they keep doing it, I don't know. It seems like it's. I feel like it gets. Um, I feel like it gets. Uh, it becomes lame <laughs> and then becomes cool again and like yeah, weird it keeps cycles. Doing that, yeah. Do you know what I want to do? I want to release a hundred feral hogs <laughs> into Burning Man. That would rock, dude. The, imagine putting a GoPro on a hog and letting him go out there, just running people the fuck over. I feel like you'd need a desert animal. So maybe like rattlesnakes. The, yeah. I mean, the rattlesnakes are smart, though. They would just be like, oh, fuck, I'm in the dust. I got a head. I just got to start slithering. Yeah, they would hide. And then people would find them and get oh, bit. Oh, <laughs> true. You're right. A lot of people get bit by the rattlesnake. Yeah, that would be very funny. So uh, what else? What else? What else happened? <laughs> what else? I don't know. Some guy drowned at Burning Man. He drowned. I don't know. That's what I heard. Inter- oh, I guess it was raining and flooding. Yeah. He probably was just on too much acid and like was face down in the mud. Yeah. Or I mean, drunk. It could just be beer. A lot of it will turn into like a quicksand ish, like a mire. Like you you'll walk and you'll get you could like get stuck. So you could tip over and just be trapped and not able to if you don't have the strength, you know, you'll just die. Quicksand doesn't really kill you unless you're too weak to get out of it. Is it is it a is it a arm strength or a leg strength or just it's being like able a to full body, just like able to get like to just endurance your way out? Yeah. So you're saying it actually is a dangerous thing. It is, yeah, for sure. I've never seen a quicksand. bog or quicksand. There's quicksand in Utah. Yeah. Well, not really. No, it's like it's like pit sand pits or whatever, mm. snake pits. Snakes have a big rave, and then you fall into it, and they all fucking bite you. Dude, why why are animals biting people so funny? That's my that is you that, really love that. I, I love when a horse bites someone. I do love a horse bite. That's like very funny. When a snake bites a guy and he's like, ah. I like <laughs> when a wild horse gets someone. Bees stinging people is funny. Jellyfish Dude, the, stinging. The buffalo Charging running people. people over. That one kills me. I love that. I like when an elephant knocks a car over. That is cool. I like um I like watching bulls run people over. I think that's one of my all times. How good do you think it feels for when a dog bites a guy? For the dog? Yeah. Mm, Pre- I don't I, I don't think know. it's like up there. Yeah. I think it's like Is that why if they start doing it, they have to keep doing it? Is, do they? Yeah, it's a lot of the times if a dog bites someone, he's like I'm going to fucking do it again. Like it's a, it becomes a very serious problem. Oh, you mean they keep biting more, more, yeah, more? Yeah, 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 yeah. He gets a taste for blood. He gets a taste for Dude, blood. I bet it feels so sick to be a dog and to bite someone. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's just up there <laughs> with the best feelings ever. <sighs> Dude, it probably is. I mean, it feels good to bite someone as a person. I wouldn't know. You never bit a guy? No, I've only seen you getting bit, and <laughs> I've never bit anyone. <laughs> I forgot I got bit. It hurts so bad. Everybody. For, how many, it, for how many times you've been bitten? <laughs> yeah, I know. I've been bit a bunch of times. It sucks, dude. Because you've uh, not only have you been bitten in fights when you were uh, when you were a tard wrangler. <laughs> yeah, when I used to they, wrangle, I got bit a bunch of times, dude. <laughs> I got vampire bit once. Like he, I was sitting there and he came up from behind me somehow and got me on my trap. Like <laughs> I was like, Fuck, it's the worst. Was he dude. trying to like? He was just biting me. He was mad at me. I don't remember what I did, dude. I can't remember what I did. I I must have like told him he can't do something he wanted to do. Like they always want to do crazy things. You know what I did learn? What? They'd be like, "Let me. I want to stay up and watch this show." And I would be like, "You can't, because like we're not supposed to." And I work with someone else. I got to follow the rules. When you uh, work at your special ed, um, how what is it? Not a halfway house. Uh, group home. Yes. Did they have curfew? Yeah, they have bedtime. They have bedtime. They're adults. I know they get Te- pe- they get government checks. You technically can't enforce it. It's weird how it works. But here's the thing: that, that was the same way with money, right? Like, yeah, they're, they're like it's their government. They can spend it on whatever they want because everything's provided for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, so there's like a certain amount of guidance you can give them, but a lot of it is like not real. You don't really have power, but they think you do because they have severe autism or whatever. But like. 
You have to keep them on a schedule. Do they like- do have appointments to make, and they're not like regular oh. adults. Like if he doesn't get, if he gets three hours of sleep, he's not going to work. You're never going to get him to go. Why does he get three hours? Let him stay up, make all of his appointments for late at night. It just live the comic lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> get up at noon. Stay up till 4 a.m. playing video games. I do want to see if I let him do whatever he wanted, how chaotic his life would get. But I would do. I, here's what would happen, though. They, I eventually, they'd be like, let me stay up all night. And I'd be like, all right. And then they would just fall asleep immediately. I'm like, yeah, yeah there you go. Got them. You just let them do whatever they want. And they actually don't want to do any of it. Tucker themselves out. Yeah, dude. They love to sleep. They're sleepy as hell. So. What? What, so, you, I thought you were going to say something about getting No, dinner. I was looking at you and realizing how much you love to sleep. I don't like sleeping anymore. Oh, you don't like sleeping anymore because you're high T now. Should we talk about it? Yeah. Do we, what do we, or 30, yeah, we'll. I've been, I've been taking, I've been taking, uh, I think I've, I've referenced it on the Patreon a few times, but I've been taking TRT. Yeah. And people have messaged me and they're like, you're looking good. Like, like more swole oh really it's th- what do you think you, it's, you're, you're just glowing gone. i just think your skin is good you you seem happier and wait you've been you've not noticed anything with my body how's my body look it looks the same i don't know maybe you're losing weight you don't pay attention to anything in my i life. haven't seen you in months yes that you should notice it the most no <laughs> because you have been gone forever you I don't only know. see me. I think my brain is just like Max Fat. Fill in the blanks. Like, I am. I am gaining weight. It just computes you. Like I don't have to look at you. I'm just like, yeah, I know what that's about. Yeah. So I've been. I've been. I'm. I'm no longer natty. I'm turning in my natty car. Yeah, dude. Max is an enhanced athlete because uh, I got my testosterone te- tested with like back in October last year. Yeah. Um. And so I had like whatever the scale is. I think a normal guy is three hundred to twelve hundred. Like, and that's that's the normal range. It's a huge fucking range. It's so funny they have it that big. And I was like, my number was like three hundred four or something. I could look it up. I have the screenshots. Though. Damn, yeah, it's not good. And you back then were like, you're in within range. You don't need it. You were just you were one of my detractors. But maybe what? Nothing. Oh, I was going to give you an out and be like, yeah, I knew if I told you not to do it, you would. There you go. Because I know there you, you so well. Yeah, you, you, yeah you know. You know. Yeah, my my total testosterone. Oh, I guess the reference range on this this place is 280 to 1100. Yeah, 1100. When you said 12, I was like, huh, but I let it go. Well, that's, my, that's a man's range. Yeah. Yeah, dude. 1200 is the secret extra 100 <laughs> you can have. <laughs> um, and so I was 302. I don't know what I am now. I need to. I need to go get uh, tested again. Yeah, get my my T tested. But you're doing good. Well, well so what they would say? Because I was reading. I like again. I got tested in October of last year, and then I was doing research the whole time, and only for like the past two months have been on T. Yeah. Um. So I didn't. I didn't go into it like all willy nilly, and people were like, "It's not a miracle cure." You will feel better. I'm here to say, if being low T is your problem, it's a miracle cure. <laughs> yeah, no, it is. It definitely is, dude. Raising your testosterone changes everything if you're a guy. Well, if that's your problem. If, if you, that's your problem. If you're like, I don't know, if you're like normal, 400, 500, 600, like a normal range. I mean, higher than that, probably. But if if you don't, if you're like depressed and you're like in that range, then I'm like, I don't know, might must be something else. But it like... It it like one it cured my depression. It yes it does. It, uh, high tea helps. What did I have immensely? A, I have a whole list. My sleep. I am sleeping. I'm sleeping like six hours a night now. Yeah, and just waking up in the morning like refreshed. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm sleeping easier. I'm waking up easier. I feel like I'm eating less. I am eating more, but that's because I'm going to the pool. Oh, Before okay. I was going to the pool, I was eating less. <laughs> <laughs> you should just not eat. You should eat the same amount even though you go to the pool. No, Have you I'm, thought about that? I'm hungry. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I bet you are. I'm threatening to kill hippies more. That's a cool <laughs> product. That is fun. Um, I got to find my notes. I, w- I wrote some like weird esoteric feel. Yeah, but I'm like, I feel stronger. You feel stronger, obviously. yes. Obviously. I'm gaining weight. I'm getting fatter and more muscly. I'm, I'm getting gaining man weight. <laughs> um, You're on a bulk immediately. 
Yeah, no, I have like I have like energy to go to the gym and like I've like I've been swimming like every other day at least. Yeah. So there is that. Okay, here's some other things. I noticed uh I was just taking notes of like any of all these like not like general feelings that it cures. Yeah. Like cuz you do everything you think it cure like it, it'll help with. All your like when you're just out of sync and all the all the whatever but then like i started no- noticing walking around i was just holding my like chest up like i was like my posture was better and i'm like, like my head was being held higher yep uh i got mired admired by a lady on the street yes never like i'm i'm getting fatter and women are being like hey it's like, your hormones, I'm like, bro i'm, I'm just like you, what how did smell it on you that she, that she can smell it that's the thing is a high t individuals living a different life dude they really are i can't wait to start abusing it's the caveman testosterone. effect dude what's the caveman effect it's just other women are like dude zug zugs fucking like should be in charge of everything like he's so mm. something about him it's the kavorka you think no nah, that's i know it's different. a different thing but it's like it's similar you know you what know? the you know what the cheerleader effect is right mm-hmm. that's when if two eights eight out of ten girls stand next to each other they both get hotter for whatever reason a group of women is hotter than the individual parts of women yes so more women standing closer together the cheerleader effect are hotter for some reason in a group setting it's because we're our brains are just mixing all the stuff together like oh th- that those boobs are nice face is good mm-hmm. shoulders great i think it's also the the fantasy in the back of your mind you're like what if these two girls kiss yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i thought you were gonna be like what if they're fundamentalist mormons no that too what if i was married to both of these women yeah that would be cool you know the halo effect is right the halo effect yeah no beautiful people it's just incel talking points oh okay when when an incel is like chad's and stacy's get away with more shit they're like shut up incel but if you go like the halo effect is when beautiful people are treated better and people listen to the trust beautiful people like people with oh yeah 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 and they're like that sounds real (laughs) like that's like when i covered my tattoos for a day in my whole life i was like oh bum mm -hmm. me out (laughs) everyone treats me different i could tell it's 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 a visible change my girlfriend at the time was like i'm so sorry (laughs) sorry yeah because she it was so weird that she noticed it was she more attracted or less attracted to you oh no she was i i was was she like she's like oh who are you jeff I, we did do a little <laughs> bit of that for fun it was very funny she was a good sport but at the time she we hung out i've never <clears> been <throat> to prison what would that be i'm a <laughs> you didn't choke your girlfriend you had straight vanilla sex yeah dude. you did missionary <laughs> it, was, I, it was hot i wore a condom <laughs> yeah <laughs> um yeah she uh at the time like after we hung out that halloween because i covered my tattoos for halloween and then we were hanging out the next day and she's like can i talk to you about something that's like bothering me and i was like sure and she's like did you notice how people treated you differently and looked at you differently and stuff or you didn't didn't look at you yeah yeah and she and i was like yeah and she was like it's just been bothering me so much i'm really sorry that you have to like feel that way was i was just like damn dude that's really funny I hate when people say stuff like that I don't notice it because that's my everyday nightmare. I mean, I noticed it at the time for being like a regular guy. No, but I mean, like when they're like, "I'm sorry, you live like that." I'm like, "Live like what? What?" Oh yeah, that's I get just, that a lot. <laughs> you're like, "Shut up!" No, uh, this is <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't tell me that. <laughs> I have people who message me and they're like, "Oh yeah, it really does look lonely how you live and you're under so much stress and well, every time you work, it could be the catastrophic end to your career and well, you're under so much pressure." I'm like, "Jesus Christ! Don't tell me I'm fucking what? Why do you think all that?" It's also like when you uh, approach like a wheelchair guy, but like you're so brave oh yeah like oh yeah thanks for reminding me that i'm crippled i i just got used to like i just yeah got used to it and then you had to like pander to me again just treat them normal make fun of them <laughs> Do not yeah, like anything yeah. else um so the caveman effect though is that what we're dubbing yeah yeah just walking yeah. around high t yeah that's when you're high t and people are just like that guy's in charge like that that fucking guy's in charge that's the hunting party right there hmm i'm trying to wonder have I been getting away with more stuff? Like, I kind of am. It's hard to tell because I am like just do it, like walking into. Th- I'm not walking to like unrestricted places. 
Yeah. I'm just walking around and people are like getting out of my way. And <laughs> there's like all these tiny little things. Yeah. I'm just like, hmm. I need, to, I need to go to like the gym gym and start lifting and see. Oh, yeah. See if, You'll feel so if, See if good, soy boys bro. get out of my way. Also, you've lifted as like from 25 until now. I've lifted get, on and off. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. So get on, d- lift consistently for three weeks and you will notice a difference that you've never noticed. You'll be like, holy shit. It'll blow your mind. Oh, but here's the big thing. What? Because I did no fap for like a whole month. Did you? Did you stop no fapping? No, I'm still on no fap. Oh, okay. I haven't fapped. <laughs> that's, hey, the, no, that's true. It counts as long as you don't fap. If if something else happens and you come, yeah. That what? What could? Firstly, what could that even be? If I got into a weird situation and something made me jizz, that's not my fault. If you have a wet dream, that's not fapping. Exactly. If something natural <laughs> happens. But that was like another thing. Like before, before, before a high T Mac, I just have to. I, my sleep was so bad, it was like an insomniac. So I would jack off, and then I would just still, but I would jack off and be like tired. Yeah, yeah. And just every single day. Now I'm like, nah, I'm holding in my seed. <laughs> I'm like, just, no fab's the best, dude. You know what I realized after not jacking what? off to or not watching porn anymore and trying not to jack off is that. There would be so many nights where I would simply just waste two hours jacking off. Two hours? Yeah, yeah. Like I would what start to like look at porn and then I would be like trying to find the perfect video You're and I get insane. close to finishing, but I'd be like, oh, the guy came in the frame and ruined it. So I'd have to find the next one. Yeah, dude. And the next thing I know, I'm like searching two through rare hours. gifts for f- fucking two hours or whatever. And I'm like, dude, I wasted so much time. What? A, what? I know. I'm <laughs> so really bad. Dude, I'm so sorry. Sorry, the way you live. <laughs> I know. Well, no, I stopped jacking off to porn, so we're you good. So much more time. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's great. No, I, dude, I've like read two more books than normal <laughs> and finished a video game. I'm like, fuck yeah, dude, this rocks. I have like eight hours a week. I was I had a full time, I had like a part time job jacking off. It's crazy. That is insane. You're fucking coomer. <laughs> I know. It's really you're, bad. You're, you're, you're gooner. You're gooner. You're good. You had your goon cave, and you were gooning. <laughs> what? I don't even. It just takes me a long time to jack off. Oh yeah, I bet it does. That's it does. You were gooning. That's like the definition of gooning. I don't know what you're saying, but we'll see. I wonder what the true definition of gooning is. You never heard of gooning? N- yeah, I know what gooning is. A form of masturbation that involves edging for a long period of time, resulting in a hypnotic trance-like state. Were you gooning, or were you just looking for the perfect video? We're just looking for the perfect were video. Were you soft most of the time? No. Yeah, you were gooning. You what were the hell? <laughs> You were staying hard. You were <laughs> fucking gooner. Look at you. How dare you? I'm so, I'm so I, sad for you. Uh, well, anyway, I don't do it anymore, so I'm a recovered gooner. That's good. I'm, I, do you think it's... It, do, you think, do you think me becoming high, higher T has raised the testosterone... Uh, jail style. Yeah, in the house. Everyone in the house is getting stronger because you raised the bar. Dude, I've noticed. I've noticed. Not you because you've been gone in Utah, but some of the other roommates. They're more. They're they're more like disagreeable with me and my (laughs) and my conspiracy theories. Well, they can see that you're. uh, Well, they're a threat. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) they're like they're like yeah yeah, whatever mag like they're just they don't want to hear it. I'm and because I'm now high T, I'm like I'm like a wizard with high (laughs) T. I'm just like, oh, poor. they're not ready to hear the truth. Yeah, I don't. I don't even need to battle. I'm just like, fair enough. You're not. You're not. Just live in misery. Live in the shadows. Mm. I do think that is a conspiracy thing. Is when it comes to conspiracies. Yeah, it's not that people don't want to believe them. I think there's just so much like evil that a normal person can even comprehend before they do just shut off and they're like i yeah. can't i can't even absorb more of it yeah like Be- what am i supposed to do it's with gonna this bump me out so i don't yeah. even i don't believe you i don't want to believe you i'm turning it off right now so i don't even have to hear about it but if you're if you're if you're a high t strong individual <laughs> like me and alex jones and all those other freedom fighters uh-huh then i don't know i just noticed that it's not that people don't believe conspiracies it's a 
they don't have like the energy to even like want like think about it yeah which is fair it's like that there's too many there's too much shit going on it's true everything's so sad but you should you should you should want to know for yourself should have that drive anyways here's my here's my uh asterisk the whole testosterone thing all right um get checked (laughs) don't just start blasting oh yeah (laughs) Get checked first. I think most people don't have access to testosterone that isn't like from a doctor, which mine is exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, there's no way a doctor makes better testosterone than a bodybuilder. Why would you say that? I just come on, man. You think they have two different products? Yeah, dude. I think bodybuilders are giving would give you the good, good shit. Oh, they know what's up. That's their. Te- they take that testosterone too. If you're buying tea yeah. from like a guy who makes it and he's jacked, <laughs> yeah, buddy, fucking take that shit. That is kind of like a. It goes to my whole thing where I'm like, I don't want a therapist. When I when I'm me personally, mm-hmm. knowing who I am, your results for you might be different. You have to look into your soul. But when I look for a therapist, that one time I went, I picked the woman with the biggest tits in her profile. Yes. And it was very helpful. <laughs> if you listen, if you do endear yourself to your therapist immediately in your own mind, it does make it easier to talk to them, I'm sure. So I've also had a I've also had a hot lady doctor in Utah that I miss. I remember you telling me about oh, her. I miss her. She was old. She was old and sexy. Really? I had a hot lady doctor, too, and she misdiagnosed me with testicular cancer. So, hey, the Doctors make mistakes. <laughs> it happens. But I'm thinking, how cool would it be if your doctor was just absolutely shredded? Would you, I think you would trust him more, right? <laughs> if your doctor was like, dude, look at my body. You want this? Yeah, yeah, Do what yeah. I say. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's the problem. I don't see a lot of fat doctors, but I don't see a lot of shredded doctors. Yeah, you don't see a lot of jacked doctors. They do you, exist. You do see some really in shape surgeons. Yeah. I S- think. A surgeons work different types of shifts, so maybe it's easier for them to get to the gym. I don't know how doctors work. I'm I guess sh- general practitioner. I don't know. Yeah. It's true, though. You want to rip. Do- I see a lot of ripped nurses. Really? Dude nurses, for some reason, are often ripped. Yeah, because they're gay. Oh, it's a good point. They're, they're, going to the gay ju- they're going to gay church, yeah. Is that what you call the gym? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know how I've never heard that before. I don't know how you've never heard that either. I heard that from a gay guy. Oh, I thought you heard that from a ripped guy. Was he, was he, <laughs> he ripped? He was also guess? ripped. Hmm. Yeah. So I think, you, I think if you are... <sighs> what, what age... If you're if you're twenty seven, if you're a twenty seven year old man, whoa, thirty, yeah, and you start feeling, look, all the microplastics, all the asbestos, all the all the chemicals in the water that are turning everyone gay and trans. Using Twitter, you think using Twitter lowers your T? Yes. All the blue light from phone screens. All the blue light from phone screens. Getting up before the sunrise. And then going home after the sunrise. Hearing Taylor Swift. No, I think she boosts a you, little. You think she boosts the tea because she's breedable? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. That makes you sense. Can, you can hear it a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. All what the, else lowers your tea? All the, all the soy. All the soy. All the, all the chemicals in the dairy. If you're not getting raw milk. Yep. All the all the five G, all the vaccines, all the vaccines. I'm, I'm not saying they're bad for you. The but measles ones. We're not even talking about that other thing. I'm just saying none of the. Who knows? Who knows what's in all of this? All the shit we're putting in our bodies. Chicken pox is a high T disease. Yeah. I had it, and look at me. It boosted. I, everyone had chicken pox. No, not anymore. It's gone. Chicken pox is not gone. There's a vaccine for it. Kids don't get it anymore. What? Yeah, that's real. Remember how when we were kids, you had to like go to a party and get it? Yeah. They don't do that anymore. They There's should... a vaccine. Why People don't... don't get chicken pox anymore. What? Yeah. I'm being serious. No, it has to exist in like the Hasidic and Amish oh, communities. Oh, yeah. I mean, they have it. Yeah, <laughs> okay, they yeah, get it yeah. for sure. But so like, when you say it doesn't when, exist. When we were kids, though. If one kid in your class got it, all the parents were like, fucking give it to my kid yeah, right away. Yeah. It was like an inevitable, an, an 
an inevitability. Like you were gonna get it and you had to get it because if you don't get chicken pox, you'll get shingles when you're an adult. Yeah. And it was a fucking weird thing. Yeah, I've told younger people about that. They're like, what the fuck? And I'm like, yeah, dude, we had to, we tried to get a disease. What's that? Is it bug chasers? Are those the people who are obsessed with getting every disease? Bug chasers are people who want to get AIDS. Oh, specifically. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm thinking of the other thing where people they, are just like, want diseases. I don't think that's a thing. That's a thing. People want to get like all the sicknesses. That's like what they're into. Hmm. Are you sure you're not thinking of hypochondriacs who think they have every disease? <laughs> I mean, I could be getting them too confused. Because, yeah, but I'm being serious. I think there's a type of guy who's like into that. No, that's like there's a sexual fetish bug chasers where they're like, yeah, they think like AIDS is like some. It, it goes deep. It goes fucking weird. I know that that's a thing. Where they like and it is. Of course, it's weird. You don't even have to extrapolate. No, it's weirder than just simply like I get off on. They like what they like personify the aids virus and it's like a gift to humanity and it like is this great purr it's fucking like what <laughs> people are nuts dude yeah, people i mean uh furries exist and they're like look it's a fox and i anthropomorphized it now i want to fuck it <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's wild remember when no uh, it's not weird because it's a lady in a fox costume you know. and you're like oh, okay i guess i don't know so but with all those things, the entire world against you, uh, all your granola bars being too crumbly, all the, all the, the kernel not using the original recipe anymore. Exactly. Your your office jobs, them not enforcing the presidential fitness test in high school. Yep. All these things in the modern world. Too many YouTube abs. That's probably getting you. The the, the 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 subliminal messaging lowering your T. Just flashing, flashing like a. I bet a, stoplights lower your T oh, too. You think? Yeah. Every think. time you stop for one, your T lowers <laughs> a little bit, dude. So I'm saying. Just get your T te- tested. Just, chest, just test it out. The, if you're, the modern world attacking you. Just go get your testosterone. If unless you feel great, if you already feel great, fuck it. I I do, I do genuinely think you should get blood work done and see about it, especially if you're a man with depression. Like, dude, it helps so much. It's crazy how you're just like it gets so much. Like I'm physically strong, so it doesn't even matter if I'm sad, and then it somehow <laughs> works. Like it's crazy where your your brain is like, actually, that's not a problem because we're jacked. Even if you're not strides, it works, dude. It's the caveman effect. Lift heavy rock, sad thoughts go away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, dude, the answer's right there. It's so true. So. I don't know. That's it will just, make you unreasonably horny, though. You can make some no. horrible mistakes. No. You might get a family. You might your depression might go away, and you might get cut up a little bit and strong and feel good. Think but about you that. also might have a family. Think about what you just said. Your depression will go away, and you'll get a family. You know what? You're right. I mean, but listen, you know, you want that woman to like you. I think she will if you're high tea. I think ladies, <laughs> as long as you stay high tea, they'll be into you. I think uh, I think women like high tea dudes. They do. I think they uh, uh, even one. They won't say they do. <laughs> <laughs> no, they no, they don't. But they don't say that. They'll tell you, oh, I want a guy who's a, the per- the perfect man, uh, according to women on dating sites, is like it's like less than a percent, a tenth of a percent of one percent. Yeah, he doesn't exist. So Which you, is so funny. You just got to be yourself. It's so funny that women want like all these specific. Whoa, whoa, whoa! My perfect woman doesn't exist. Who's your what? I, th- I think she's, most regular guys' six, perfect she's, woman is like so stupid. It's just like she does. It's she's a, hot. She's got a rack on her, dude. It's Emma. It's Emma Watson, but she her tits are big D's, and she and, <laughs> and she doesn't care that I like hot rods. <laughs> like it's that easy. That's, that, but it's not that easy because not all women are Emma Watson with big fat T D's tits. No, no. But that woman exists way more than the man who's like. A billionaire who's who understands all of his feelings perfectly and wants to do everything you want to do, but it's also jacked and in really masculine and will always protect you somehow, but doesn't like guns and like doesn't fish, but could fish if he needed to. I don't know. It's so fucking crazy. Do you think I think I've said this before, 
Do you think they'll ever make testosterone illegal? If they do, I'm going to take it more. <laughs> like, I don't know. And then, because uh, I salute to all, all of our our gender affirming warriors out oh, there. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. If you're trans <laughs> and you got a little extra testosterone, hit us up, dude. But I'm no, I'm saying like, I, I, I could see the World Economic Forum being like, uh, you're oh, you can only trans to women. No more transing to men. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Because it, it makes you too, makes you too much of a free thinker, Dude. too much of a conspiratorial caveman. I would make it. I I I would make it so that being a trans man is actually easier and encouraged, and then I would start the biggest war possible. What do you mean, make it easier? I don't know. Just these, like, if you just you say you want it, you just go. I'm a trans guy, and I go. Aren't you already a guy? And they go. Doesn't matter. And I go. Here's a testosterone. And then when World War Four starts, you've got a lot of military age males. I bet there. I bet that conspiracy theory exists, where they're like the left is getting ready for a war, and they're trying to make more men to fight it. And I'm you're like, what? I wonder what the numbers are on men to women and women to men. I feel like I feel like it's one to ten. I yeah, I do too. I feel like one lady tra- becomes a man for every ten dudes who become ladies. Yeah. And for sure that's a that's a discussion for another episode that is a discussion for another episode but it's also very common sense why we should get one of you no it's not i think it is being a guy is fucking terrible why would you oh, want to do okay. that, that is yeah. kind of- <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh yeah i want to become someone that no one else cares about and is invisible to society do you know about you the- have less challenges but you also have less I- I- any positive what are they called do you know about the mouse city experiments or whatever no no, I'll we'll look it up and talk about it later. So, anyways, go get your tea checked. Do it, uh, or don't. Whatever. Enjoy as as yourself. As long as you're happy. Hey, also shout out to every trans person that pins hormones. That shit is crazy. You guys are the real fucking deal. As opposed to what? I don't know. Because if you're, I guess if you're trans and you don't pin hormones, that's possible. Because like, you could just be a person who just like is trans but doesn't do anything f- like to transition. Nah, you should you should go hard. I think you should go hard. <laughs> hey, if you're watching this and you're a you're an egg or you're a trans person, what's the, what's the egg? An egg is like a trans person who thinks they're trans but isn't ready to hatch yet. Can you be a forever egg? Yeah, I think that's sad. No. Nah. I identify as <laughs> yeah, yeah. I identify as an egg. Hey, if you're a trans person and you're even remotely on the fence about if you should do hormones, but you think it would make you happier, this is your fucking you didn't expect this to happen, did you, you fucking son of a bitch? Transition right now. Go to the doctor and start pinning hormones tomorrow, you motherfucker. That's the sign from God, trans God. Mm, no, I'm not him, but he's up there, but he's telling you this is I'm the vessel through which his message flows. I'm gonna say do a couple months of research like I did. Nah, dude. Fuck <laughs> research go hard in no, the pain, dude. You, should, you should think Pit. about it fucking dude if you're oh if you're transitioning into a man think about your gains that, you know what if you're gonna trans to a man hell I, I don't know though i feel like transing to a man is like you can never go back <laughs> <laughs> that's right once you come to our side you're fucking here baby i feel like uh we will never let you leave we love you homie mm-hmm. so i don't know i wonder which one's harder to do I don't. I think both are incredibly challenging. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> I bet there's a clear answer. We should get we should get a M to F and an F to M on the pod to debate each other. Oh, to debate each other. To debate to fight to the death. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, that's interesting. And we'll both pick sides, and we'll have a we'll have a college debate. Yeah, um, which is which is better which is the better gender m to f or f to m finally male to females are from venus female to males are from mars <laughs> <laughs> all right everyone hey you should go to our patreon at patreon.com slash cowboy boys and do what they should sub for five dollars and they will get one extra episode every episode that's two episodes a week sometimes that's Tw- 10 episodes in a month in one month i bet so I like fucking that's crazy up. right so you can't pass up that deal also if you don't we will die 
please we need that and also cowboyboys.store so you can wear cool hats like the one mac has on boom and uh what am i wearing you don't ever wear our merch i don't wear our merch because it's cringy what for me to do it oh for you to wear your own merch yeah it's weird i specifically designed my intention behind the merch is that you want to wear it is yeah because i look at other people's merch and it'll be like a line people will give me ideas for merch like i'll say something on the pod and they're like you should wear that you should make that merch and i'm like you like that because you saw the podcast you get the underlying thing but i'm picturing you wearing that shirt in public and other people looking at your shirt and being like why does why does your shirt say release the bees at Burning Man? It doesn't <laughs> yeah, make yeah, any yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. So I, I kind of I I want the merch to like look good and make ki- somewhat sense to like not only what you. About, if you have a shirt that says release the bees at Burning Man and someone asks them about it, aren't you now no, advertising the pod? But it's like too then it's too much. Like it, what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just, you want to make a you want to make a shirt? Uh, I do like a release the bees at Burning Man, and then there's bees, and there's a hippie, and he goes, "No bees," and he's being bead. If we had more listeners, I would make every single shirt they suggested. Yeah, if, yeah that's fair. That's but it's like I I can't make a shirt that four of you are, are gonna buy. Yeah, we do have a lot of shirts. We're making more. We could do limited edition runs. Yeah, f- a limited edition five shirts for the five <laughs> yeah, for the yeah. five people who want. At that point, if we had a own. screen printer at home, mm-hmm, we could. Uh, each shirt is three hundred dollars, <laughs> dude. But then we start our own boutique clothing company. Release the bees. Mm-hmm. All right, everyone. Anyway, you can sub to our Patreon. That helps us. You can buy merch. That also helps us. But the merch and is cool. It is cool and good. You can just wear it. Have you checked our Apple reviews? Not in a while. Dude, I haven't in like a year, bro. I just realized that happened. Those exist. That's crazy. Anyway, love you guys so much. And uh that's it. That's the that's the episode. Fucking yeehaw, everybody. Yeehaw.